Hi, everybody. Welcome to this presentation regarding skilled trades and apprenticeship. So this is for any of you who are considering taking one of our certificate programs in the skilled trade area, um, or maybe you are hoping to apply and you have foreign credentials and you're just not quite sure how to apply. So it, it does apply to any domestic student that is hoping to apply into one of our um, skilled trade programs and then just understanding what the apprenticeship process looks like. My name is Cheryl Boyce and I'm a student recruitment officer representing all four campuses. I'd like to acknowledge that Saskatchewan Polytechnic is located on Treaty 4 and Treaty 6 territory and homeland of the Métis people where we work, live and learn today. Now, Saskatchewan Polytechnic has 20 apprenticeable trades um, in these four sectors of training. So the goal of any person in a skilled trade is usually to become a journey person and obtain that journey person or Red Seal um, certificate. So to obtain this, persons must register as an apprentice in the trade and complete a minimum amount of trade time hours and then pass various levels of technical training. To be an apprentice, persons must be employed in the industry working under the supervision of a journey person. And so um, if you're not quite there yet where you haven't actually found a job and um, are an apprentice for an employer, um, most of the time individuals would be coming to Saskatchewan Polytechnic to take one of our certificate programs so that they can gain um, you know, formal education and training from our instructors. And then that way, when you graduate, you have something to put on your resume. And of course, it looks very desirable to employers. So I'm on the sasspolytech.ca website here. So this is just a snapshot. And so under programs and courses, you can see the apprenticeship um, information that we have listed on our website. However, of course, apprenticeship training is an agreement that is through SASC Apprenticeship or SATCC, which stands for Saskatchewan Apprenticeship Trade Certification Commission. But of course, you can browse all of our programs A to Z um, above the apprenticeship highlight there. And then that way you can see all the different certificates that we have as well. So I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of the two different paths an individual could take when they are thinking of getting into the skilled trades and then eventually want to become an apprentice. So the thing is, is that the challenge for people is um, to obtain a job in the industry with an employer. They need an employer who is willing to take them in on, as an apprentice. So sometimes um, a person needs to get more knowledge and, in that trade so that they can gain employment in the industry, in which case they would come to Saskatchewan Polytechnic and take one of our certificate programs. Um, these typically were called pre-employment certificates in the past, um, but these programs are designed to give students the base level of knowledge in that trade. Now, um, persons completing our certificate programs are, are more attractive to employers, like I was kind of saying, because they possess that base knowledge of skills required for entry into the industry. And then graduates of these programs will also be given credit in terms of trade hours and technical training once they become apprentices in the apprenticeship program. So, you would come to Saskatchewan Polytechnic, take your year of training, then of course find and obtain full-time employment in the industry. And if you are you know, hoping to become a journey person, you would wanna register with your uh, employer and Sask Apprenticeship and Trade Certification Commission to indenture you as an apprentice. Now, apprenticeship is a formal agreement between an, an individual who wants to learn a skill and an employer who needs a skilled worker. An apprenticeship training is a multi-year earning while you learn arrangement for a required term. Apprentices already have jobs in their de desired fields of work and have a signed contract of apprenticeship with their employer and Sask Apprenticeship Trade Certification Commission. So under the supervision of a certified um, uh, journey person, an apprentice receives knowledge and then develops skills of on-the-job training. Apprenticeship skills learned on the job are supplemented with a required number of weeks in school 
um, and technical training each year. And then upon successful completion of an apprenticeship program, you are eligible to write an examination to become a certified journey person in your trade. So apprenticeship is usually one to four years of earning while you learn. And so, like I mentioned, because you already took a Saskatchewan Polytechnic certificate, um, you will receive credit for the technical levels and trade hours already completed. So generally people are starting out at a level two within their um, year of apprenticeship. And so they go through those one to four years of apprenticeship training um, before they can challenge the journey person certificate. Now, the other option is that sometimes individuals already can find employment in the industry before they even have, you know, any sort of um, formal education through an institution like Saskatchewan Polytechnic. So if that's the case and you have an employer where you would be learning and working under a journey person in your desired trade, you can absolutely go that route. And then of course, just sign off on that three-way contract with Sask Apprenticeship and your employer and your, yourself. And then you'll go through those one to four years of apprenticeship training before you can then challenge the journey person exam. Again, apprenticeship is usually 10 months earn while you learn on the job, and then a couple months at Saskatchewan Polytechnic. So you can find all that great information and more on our website. And then also please do check out the Saskatchewan Apprenticeship Trade Certification Commission's website, um, because that is, um, once you become an apprentice, it's all through them, right? Now, to apply to one of our certificate programs, um, they are open all year round for admission. It's called First Qualified, First Admitted, or sometimes we call it FQFA for short. Um, and so there is no application deadline. So it's always available for the next intake. Now, keep in mind that many of our programs have limited seating. Um, so you're always going to want to apply sooner than later if you know you want to get in um, for the next intake. Because once the program is filled um, with qualified candidates, a wait list will start um, once the program is full. And that can happen. So again, if a program starts in September, and let's say um, you are in grade 12 right now or beyond, you're going to want to apply, okay? So the sooner you apply and qualify, the better chance of getting a seat in the program. So once you're ready to apply, of course, make sure you are reviewing the program webpage and see if there's any specific program admission requirements listed. Um, and, and really, we need your official transcripts at the end of the day uh, after you have applied. I don't literally mean end of day, but um, you have 60 days from the time of application to submit your official transcripts. Um, so if you're from Canada, or sorry, if you took your high school education in Canada, you would need to order those transcripts to come directly to Saskatchewan Polytechnic from the Ministry of Education in your province. If you're a permanent resident with foreign credentials, review the English language proficiency requirements on our program page. Um, we do accept the Duolingo English test with a score of 105 as equivalent to the IELTS academic 6.5 overall with five in each component. Um, and so there are different regulations and rules depending on which country you graduated from or where your education came from. Um, so you can definitely search admission requirements for English language proficiency on our website. As well, if you have foreign credentials, um, ensure that you have um, appropriate documentation to prove your previous education, which needs to be assessed by our Foreign Credential Assessment Office once you have applied. So once you have applied, you will have to submit scanned color copies of your previous secondary education to international documents at saskpolytech.ca. There is a fee for the assessment as well, which is $75, and you can call enrollment services um, after you've done all this in order to pay. You'd also have to provide proof of residency and the English language proficiency to enrollment services. And keep in mind that all assessments take around two to four weeks once we have all your documentation in, um, in which case you would be um, notified in your MySAS Polytech portal if you have been offered a seat in the program. Um, there's also an application guide on our website for domestic and international students, so you can check that out. Um, and online applications are $75. So 
I just want to mention if you are in high school or beyond and you've taken your education in Canada, you do have to order your official transcripts to come from the Ministry of Education. If you are a current high school student and you wish to apply, let's say you're in grade 12 and you're ready to apply, um, certainly do that and just have a course schedule sent to us from your guidance counselor or principal, um, which shows us your path to graduation. And then of course your official transcripts from grade 12 would have to come to us at the end of the year. Um, some of the uh, skilled trade certificates don't all require a grade 12 education. They might say grade 10 or grade 11, um, but of course, you know, um, if you decide that you're not finishing grade 12, um, then some, yeah, if you have the grade level required for admission to the program, you certainly can apply. Um, and then if you are, let's say, upgrading because the program requires a specific class, maybe you didn't have, um, again, you can also send in proof of registration um, and your official transcripts and then your official transcripts to come again once all your classes are completed. You have 60 days to get in all your documents uh, for this program. Don't mind the high demand and competitive admissions that does not pertain to our skilled trade certificates. So once you apply, you're going to get one email from us, and that is going to have instructions on how to log into the MySAS Polytechnic portal. And you will want to check that frequently because that is where enrollment services will speak to you regarding your application. And we usually take 15 business days once all your documents are in to make that decision. And if you are offered a seat, then congratulations, we require a $600 seat deposit, which would be due within 30 days of your acceptance letter. Um, if you are maybe not possessing the academic qualifications for the program, um, you might be offered special admission through an AccuPlacer test. Um, it's free of charge for applicants and um, it is used for math and English and grade levels. And so it does not, um, measure science or social. So if the program requires science or social, um, you would have to make sure that you have that upgraded. And if you are needing any sort of upgrading, by all means, you can contact our literacy and adult education department. Uh, they have free academic upgrading for adults who are 19 years of age or older, or if you're 18 and have been out of high school for at least one year. Uh, search on our website for academic upgrading to see all those details and they will have their contact information listed as well. So once you're ready to apply, you can go to saspolytech.ca. You'll see the apply now button and then you'll also see another button that you have to click. Um, and once you get in there, you will have to uh, create a login and PIN number. Now the login and PIN number allows you to continue through with your application. Um, I do have another video on the application portal that you can watch if you need more information. Um, and then, of course, we have an application guide that you can also use as a resource under our Become a Student tab. And if you are an international applicant, please do uh, contact international at saskpolytech.ca for further information. And of course, there is also an international tab that you can check out on how to apply. If you fall under one of any of these four categories, please do mark it off on your application for our education equity seating. As far as financing your education, um, many folks will look for financial assistance through the government. So full-time students may receive financial assistance under the Canada and Saskatchewan Student Loans Program. This is something that you could apply to once you have been um, admitted or offered a seat in the program and have put down your seat deposit. Um, you can search financial assistance on our website. For our Indigenous or Métis students, there may be funding options available through your individual band or GDI, so the Gabriel Dumont Institution. Um, and you can also contact one of our Indigenous student advisors um, from our website um, under Become a Student. 
Now we do have awards and scholarships that are given away each year through Saskatchewan Polytechnic. We have over $2 million in student awards available. Um, but I also wanted to mention that there is apprenticeship incentive grants through Canada.ca website. Um, the apprenticeship incentive grant offers $1,000 to eligible apprentices who successfully complete their first or second level of apprenticeship training in a designated red seal trade to a maximum of $2,000. The apprenticeship completion grant offers $2,000 to eligible apprentices who um, uh, successfully complete their apprenticeship training and receive their journey person certification. Um, on or after January 1st, 2009. Um, so by combining those two grants, you could be eligible up to $4,000 upon certification in your designated Red Seal trade. So um, here's a snapshot again of our website. There's lots of great programs. If you have not searched our programs already, you can go under programs and courses, and then you'll see on the left-hand side, there is A to Z program listing. Um, so again, my key takeaways from today is that applications are open all year round for our programs. The best time to apply is when you are enrolled in the grade level. Um, and, and have the subjects required for admission to a program. Um, we offer the certificate programs for the skilled trades. However, once you've entered a contract uh, with your employer and SASC apprenticeship, uh, the arrangements for you to come onto campus for your technical trading is gonna be scheduled through the SATCC. And that is also who you would submit your hours to. So I do suggest you uh, check out the SATCC's website for more information. As far as financial assistance, you can search for that on our website regarding student loans, and then of course, Canada.ca for grant information. If you're an international applicant, please do email our team at international at saspolytech.ca, and you can also see the international tab on our website. And for domestic students, you can always ask a question with one of our recruitment advisors at askaquestion at saspolytech.ca. Thank you so much for listening in. Hope you learned something today and we hope to speak with you soon. All right, take care everybody.